and welcome to Fulton Street Beats. Well, this beautiful beast of an amp just came. This is a Black Star ID Core 100. And um, man, <laughs> I got the chance just to fool around with this for a couple minutes here. And um, I got to tell you, I'm really impressed with this amp. Um, first, aesthetically, it's very pleasing. This does have uh, a wide stereo effect. I believe it's running two tens in it. And um, man, is it loud, but the clarity is outstanding. Even with distortion, it's usable power. Really, really cool. And that was my main reason why I, why I wanted this amp. Um, I didn't expect it to be this good. I saw a few reviews and, um, well, they just, they were older reviews. So I really didn't know what I was getting myself into. However, this does also come with a foot switch for looping. That's right, it loops. So cool. And we got a lot of enhanced effects, as you can see here. I'm going to leave this right on here for you. Um, that's how we run the looper. If you want to see, um, press A to start, record, and stop, and um, B to play back, B to and hold B to erase the loop, and A and B to undo last overdub, and A and B to toggle between looper and patch modes, which is really cool. So it has a patch mode also. So it does come with a foot pedal, the foot switch, I should say, and the cord, and really, really cool. So it's 100 watts, uh, usable 100 watts. Very impressive. Super wide stereo. Now, I'm going to give you guys, hopefully, if this works out, an idea of the super wide stereo. I haven't seen a really good demonstration of the super wide stereo. I've heard people tell me how good it is, but uh, I haven't had a good demonstration. So I'm going to try to pull that off here for YouTube for you. Um, it does have an effects loop in the back if you want. Um, and then it does have a built-in tuner. And how that works is you hit this... Uh, manual button right here and this this down here your reverb and your mod up here are red and the delay in the middle is green so once you hit solid green in the middle um you know you got it in tune so it will vary between red and green to the middle and of course here's all your switching um this amp i must say was a blemished unit it says blemished anyhow from zounds and I can't find a blemish anywhere other than there was no manual if they even come with them. But this amp is in outstanding condition. Um, it came in a box um, and it was sealed. So I'm not sure what the deal is there. Um, but there's our effects loop right there and our foot switch. And as you can see there, I'm not going to run anything um, directly into the DAW from the amp. I want you guys to get an idea of how this thing sounds um well running into the daub through a microphone now this is the cool thing so i'm going to try to demonstrate this i hope it turns out so when i plug this in and i just played this a second ago what happened was the sound the stereo sound this ultra wide stereo i guess they call it wide stereo there we go easy for people super wide the effect of this amp in this room, anyhow, sounded like the sound was coming from in my, inside my head. I could, I was sitting directly in front of the amp, but couldn't, really, my mind didn't want to locate the sound. It was so spatial. It was insane, and it sounded so good. So what I did is I kind of tweaked the settings a little bit, got a cool sound, played it for two, three minutes, and now I'm going to try this for you and try to record the video at the same time. So what I'm going to do is, you see this? I got a mic set up. Just to the back, just right here. Let me give you an idea here. There's the amp. And it's actually behind the amp, not in front. I'm not, I'm not running an ideal location for sure. So there it is behind the amp. There is the amp. It's a pretty good size amp too, as you can tell. There's my fender. There's my box. It's a pretty good size amplifier. Um, and it's not heavy, which is really cool also. But it's built well. So there's the amp. There's the mic I'm going to be using, okay, and running into my DAW. And I'm going to record this open air in the room like this, okay? The only thing that's not going to be open air is the backing track that I'm going to run and the bass guitar. So I'm going to use, I'm going to grab that Thunderbird bass over there, and I'm going to use that for a, a bass line and a, and a drum back, and I'll use a drum backing track that's already in my DAW. And uh, so those won't be open air because I can't make the bass amp sound the way this thing sounds so but what you're going to hear from this amp is an open space recording at a mic that's placed in the room at a bad location 
nothing ideal for recording to get an idea of how spatial the sound is with this thing. So stay right there and I'll be right back. Let's set that up real quick. And in the comment section, when it's done, please tell me what you think about the sound of this thing. I, I think it's really cool. I'm not going to do any tweaking, nothing like that. So the sound you get from this amp is the sound you are going to get. I mean, I'm going to run some effects in the amp, but I'm not going to run, tweak anything in the DAW. So keep that in mind. Okay, guys, thanks for watching. Hit that share button, like, and subscribe. And remember, it's rock and roll that makes the world go round. And here's that track. Peace.